I have some photographs here I'm going to show you right now. This photo is ugly as hell. And this photo is taken, I hope I have some... Yep, there you go. That taken with the Panasonic bridge camera cost about 150 or 200 euro uh, today. Basically a plastic made toy. And ISO speed was 3200. And that's the best result I can get of 3200 ISO. I zoom in, you already can see the noise, but I'm gonna zoom in and look at that. This is like plain disgusting, simple as that. There is a way to get rid of it. What I did, I, I actually took about, I think, 12 photo. Yeah, 12 photos there. You can take even four or five, that's enough. And then you can stack them in Photoshop or Affinity Photo. I'm going to show you how to do that in Affinity Photo and then reduce noise. Now, you go to the file, new stack, then add Affinity Photo Tutorial, stacking. I made my folder and select all the photos, click open. Once you're done, I took all the photos on a tripod, but I'm going to leave it on anyway. Then add, sorry, then OK. This is the moment of waiting. So you have to kind of wait because Affinity Photo is working on your background. You can see in the top right corner, it's showing you exactly what it is doing. It's loading first document. So this might take a while. So I'm going to fast forward it to the end. Now we have our image. So that's the final result. Now this is the default. I'm not touching anything. I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to show you what it did. I'm going to zoom in about 100% there. I mean, you still can see a little bit of grain in the shadow area, but comparing with this, I mean, come on, look at this one and, and that one, huge difference. Uh, now we can actually do a little bit of fine tuning here. So you can go click on this X, then you can click, generally median is the best, if not, you can do, you can scroll through each and every one. You can do mean. Mean also works. Difference between mean and medium, it's nothing to do with the noise. It's completely something else. So mean actually, to me, I find uh, it giving a slightly better result. So the noise to me reduced about 90% noise are gone. And you still have the details. So I'm going to show you two things. One, that. One, I'm going to show you, which is the final result. So I'm going to add a noise reduction, denoise. And I think I have color noise here. So I'm going to add like a touch 4%. I think the 4% will do all the way up. I don't go too aggressive because I need my details. So I'm going to do about, I, I think 10, 6 to 10% should do, right? So that's step number one. So that's stacking and a touch noise reduction and after that what I do I'm going to right click on then what I do I'm going to merge visible so once I done merge visible I'm going to apply a high pass filter on it to do some sharpening and once it's done I'm going to go to the effect and then add a high pass filter vivid light at about I think one pixel is enough to make it nice and sharp about 1, 1.1. 1 .1. So this is our final result. So I did a little bit noise reduction and then reach of sharpening and look at the result. So this is the moment of truth. Now I'm going to do the same thing on a single high noise photograph. So I'm going to drag and drop it here. Actually, I'm going to go to file, place, <clears throat> pick one of the high noise photo and then drop it on top. So what I do, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So that's our original photograph. And that's our stack photo with sharpening and noise reduction stacked. And that's with nothing. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do the noise reduction here. Go to the denoise, add some color noise. I think I need to add a quite aggressive noise reduction. I go all the way 50. And then I'm going to go to the luminance and then add some luminance noise thing unfortunately i have to go i have to be very aggressive here so 
That's the final result after a heavy noise reduction. If I go all the way up, like 100% luminance and 100% color, uh, well, that's as good as it can get. I cannot do much. So that's original photograph with the noise reduction. And this is stacked photo with a touch noise reduction and a very minor sharpening. As a matter of fact, you can add some more sharpening if you want to. I mean, feel free. I think that'll be fine. So that's without anything. I don't think I can even do any noise uh, sharpening here, to be honest with you. I guess um, if I do so, what happens? I'm going to go to the high pass filter, go to the blend mode, vivid light, and then add about 1%. I mean, this is way too ugly. I mean, it, this is just not usable. That's it. Only way you can save it by turning into black and white. But that's not the objective here. Object here to compare with this, with the stack photograph and applying noise reduction and sharpening on the original photograph. So this is how you can achieve very good result using a very cheap camera and with the help of a tripod and Affinity Photo. You can see the edges of the, the cover is crispy, nice and sharp. Um, no doubt about it, you can clearly see it in the screen. So you don't need expensive camera, you don't need expensive software, you can just use a tripod and use your camera phone or any camera in the planet and shoot away. Make sure you shoot them on a tripod and make sure they're all quite static subjects. As long as those um, elements are matched, you can do anything you like and still get very good result like I have this in this photograph. I hope this video has been very helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.